All right, guys. I am Pixels Get Me, streamer, content creator over at Mixer.com slash Pixels Get Me. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a, uh, a thing I call Pixels Arcade. You can see it at the bottom of the stream there in the interactive section. Um, it's brought to you by Mixer Interactive, and the Mix It Up bot is what I currently use to uh, to build the the interaction. Um, now, this isn't a standard tutorial for Mix It Up or a tutorial for Mixer's interactive buttons. I'm going to be just kind of glazing over those two things, but I can do another video kind of deep diving into those to specifically set up a board or um, just set up interactive in general, just a couple things like you know, putting up like a YouTube button, for instance, where I can click this and then it sends out a, a little message saying, hey, go set up. All right, so um, Mixer.com is a streaming platform for uh, for video game streamers or or content creators who want to live stream their stuff to a audience online. Mix It Up is a bot that we use to do these things. It looks like this, or we can just kind of bring over chat here, and then everyone gets to uh, to talk. I get to see who's who and what's what. Um, but more importantly, it has a section in here called interactive and that's <laughs> curves. Um, and this is, uh, this is the section that kind of figures out how to connect to your, to your mixer broadcast board. Um, so what I'm going to be going over, not, not a lot into the, uh, the mixer platform, not a lot into mix it up and not a lot into interactive but just kind of showing you the the unique game that we created um for the stream for the the community that uh that hangs out with me while i play games so um the first thing i want to cover is the game so here in about eight seconds the game is going to come off cooldown and people should be able to click it. So I'm just going to let someone, anyone, whoever wants to do that. All right, it should be up. Cool. Looks like Curbs uh, is stepping up to Pixels Arcade. Uh, the first thing that happened, he's, do he's doing a League of Legends game. He chooses Misfortune, buys some boots, and heads to mid. He jumps into the jungle real quick, snipes some minions for cash, and heads back into the fight. And the match was going well until the opposing team got geared. Might be because Curbs just fed them three times. Ouch. And then after some epic engagements, Curbs rallies the team and pushes mid. Enemies drop one by one. The last enemy waits at the core. Core down and Penakilla top it off. Seven tickets. And then he got a bunch of tickets. Nice job, Curbs. That's that's how you that's how you play the game. Well done. Like, how about that for a demo, guys? He clicks the button, he completely crushes the game, gets the highest score possible. Thanks, Curbs. Alright. So that was one game. The other game we have is Fortnite. I'll be covering the Fortnite game. And, uh, and we'll talk about how that works. So the first bit that I want to talk about is uh, Mix It Up. So once you log in to Mix It Up, you're going to have a bunch of different menus here. The one we're concerned about right now is Interactive. So go ahead and click Interactive. Up at the top, you'll see that I'm connected. I'm going to disconnect the board for a moment just so we can, uh, we can see how this works. So right now, if I were to log in to uh, Mix It Up Bot, I wouldn't have any default uh, arcade boards set but instead um, you're gonna see some different things that they have mixed play interactive for uh, Fortnite for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 um, Realm Royale yeah, PUBG um, and then there's some other games that also have it but if you go into Mixer Labs which is this button right here you actually get to open up a separate uh, window specifically to to build your own mixed play project okay so if i go up to mixed play project up at the top we're gonna have a unpublished thing that's only accessible accessible by me at the moment called pixels arcade games if you don't have one you can click the plus and build one just call it whatever you like streamer guys arcade games or whatever right um first thing you want to do is you want to go up here and click the build tab and then it's going to kind of show more than likely an empty grid for each type of device we have a large grid medium grid 
small grid. You're going to just see a, a blue grid, and you're probably not going to see a ton of buttons over here. This is just how my board looks, okay? Um, all right, so the first thing we want to do probably is add a control. Um, and I add a control called a button. And you just name the button whatever. Let's call it Arcade 1 or something like that. Whatever it is you want to call it. Um, it'll show up later in Mix It Up if you do this correctly. So if you add this, add some text, you click Add, you add a button. Um, you should have it listed here now. Now you'll drag it onto the grid. So for instance, Pixels, Pixels Fortnite can be dragged onto the grid right here. Actually, that's not the one I want to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one I want to do. Um, but if you click uh, Pixels Arcade Fortnite, you'll see the expansion. So the text says Insert Sparks. You're able to add all these different things. So definitely before you drag it over, you should probably take a look and make sure it has the right colors, make sure it has the right text. If you want to add a background image like I did for my arcade machines, um, you can add an image and then do, a, uh, do an image or link. That seems to work pretty well. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot that changed as this arcade became a thing. So um, definitely, you know, experiment. I would, I would even venture to say make a button that says button, put the text as click button and then set the spark cost at one or zero, maybe one, and then just save it and see if it works. So, so once you have a button, and feel free, you know, it's YouTube, so pause as needed. Once you have a button, you should be able to click up here and click save. And this will save the, uh, the entire experience. Once it's saved, and it'll give you some sort of prompt, toast on the bottom saying, hey, it's saved, good job. Then you'll want to go back over to uh, the Mix It Up app. So in the Mix It Up app, you can uh, you can select the arcade games that you want. You'll see whatever you called your streamer guys arcade games, right? Um, and then you can click. Once it's selected, it might say default by by automatic. You can click connect. It might take a second to reconnect to the screen, but you'll see on the stream down below that you have your Mix Play application back up. And because I kicked the bot, boom, people have a chance to play again. All right. So that's the first bit. Um, mixer Labs, button some layout, now mix it up. Okay. So now we're talking mix it up. This is uh, this is kind of tricky, but don't don't let it don't let it overcomplicate itself. All right, I've made a very complicated game out of this with no code, and uh, and it can be kind of convoluted, but uh, but it makes sense to me. So if you guys figure out a different way to do this, all the power to you. Fantastic. So. Um, we have a button here called Pixels Fortnite. It's a button, it costs 75, it's from the arcade board, or it has the arcade cooldown, which I'm not going to talk about cooldowns, we can talk about that in another, another, uh, another video. Um, but, if I click edit command on Pixels Fortnite, right now you might not have a command on yours at all, okay, which is very possible. Um, that's completely normal. You'll have to add everything as needed. Definitely experiment with these uh, usage requirements options up in the top. I don't know what it's going to. Uh, I don't know what the defaults are now since the bot's been updated many times, and I, they've even overhauled interactive a little bit since this uh, since this was created. So it might not have uh, have everything. But um, let's cover. The actual uh, order of events. Okay, so in the event that someone clicks the Fortnite arcade button, what's going to happen is a string of events. All right, the first thing that's going to happen is an arcade entrance event. Okay, so this is just a uh, quick, you know, image from my computer. You can put it from uh, from from uh, Imager as well if you like. Um, set the, the width, set the height. Um, you can even test this individually. Um, let's go over here and let's minimize that real quick. If I just click play on this, it's just going to make the, uh, the arcade show up. And you can keep playing it if you want, just to, as you're moving the values back and forth, the position from the left or the position from the top. I do an advanced toggle on this and do a percentage just to kind of get it right in the corner of the screen where I want it. 
um, but you can just keep moving it. As you move the settings, you'll see it pop up in a different place. Um, another thing on this is I put a duration of 24 seconds. Again, this is totally up to you on, on how long you want to make this exist in this spot, okay? Because I probably had it at like a minute at first, and then I realized the game doesn't take a minute to play, so then the, the arcade is just sitting there on my stream for 35 seconds waiting to go away. Um, and then you can mess around with the animations as well. So I have a slide in up and then a slide out down. Uh, the visible animation is something that happens in the halfway point. So at about the 12 second mark, the Fortnite arcade kind of shakes, you know, like it's being being played. And that kind of goes with the future command down here, user entrance, where we're going to also have that visible animation ha happen. So it looks like the person's actually hitting the arcade, you know, like playing the arcade. Just a little bit of animation to kind of spice it up, you know. Um, so the first thing, we have an arcade. It pops up. Next, we wait a second. So this is just a wait command. To add all these commands, you just need to go into the uh, into the bottom. You should see a blank screen. The first one is an image. Let me see real quick. It's a it's an overlay. Images and videos. So that's how you throw an image onto the screen. You just do add overlay, and then you can kind of set the parameters that we just saw in arcade entrance. If you want to add a wait, you just go down here and you add the command wait. All right, and then we wait one second. So the arcade pops up. A second later, a user pops up. And this is again another uh, add a new command image overlay video type deal. So you select image, and what we're using is a mix it up um, variable. And this is like as deep into programming as we go. Okay, but um, dollar user avatar is actually the person who clicked the arcade. Whoever interacted with the button is dollar user avatar. And we're just gonna click that and that flings me out onto the screen. All right, so I'll be right there next to the arcade. Again, you can do this advanced screen position to kind of slide it left and right as needed to kind of get the user right next to the arcade. There's that visible animation. I did a ta-da, and that kind of makes him shake up and down like he's playing the arcade. He lasts 26 seconds, so he comes out the arcade, I'm sorry, the arcade comes out, the user comes out, plays the arcade game, the arcade disappears, and then the user runs away, just like that. Pretty smooth, but it takes us takes some time to kind of figure out how many seconds each command is, okay? And definitely, uh, you know, trial, trial and error. Probably took me a couple hours to kind of get everything the way I want it. Then we have another wait of two seconds. Now we start getting into the chat commands, and the chat commands are also not just chat commands but they're often action groups because we want to randomize the game we don't want it to be the same thing every time someone uh, someone plays right because it's kind of boring um i think this adds some flavor to it so the first thing we want to do is we have a chat command which you do action and you'd say chat message right and then you'd have this blank chat message appear but what i put is um dollar username spend some sparks to play pixels arcade fortnite good luck hope you get some tickets and at the end of this i'll talk about tickets um it's just a currency we use on stream so you can put whatever you want in this message it'll show up a couple seconds after that arcade machine and that user avatar pop out the next thing is where we kind of get into three rounds of randomized commands all right and this is kind of like the fun part of the game in my opinion um, because you get to write, you get to do some creative writing, you get to make it a little bit suspenseful, you know, um, throughout. I've When I made the Fortnite game, I definitely upgraded it when I made the League of Legends game because I even added bonus tickets if they did something really exceptional in this randomized, um, in this randomized section. So we have uh, the action group drop-in, the action group loots, and the action group fights and this is with a three and a four second wait kind of between the two kind of adding a second of wait between each one kind of adds a little second of suspense too i feel it felt like it 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 was smoother experience like this so um let's take a look at all the action groups this is where it gets kind of crazy but um just bear with me fortnite drop in all right so the first one is fortnite drop in this is an action group, so um, you can get to the action groups by going back over into the the, uh, the actual mix it up core bot, 
and you can go into a setting called action groups and you'll see that I have a bunch of action groups. I have a Fortnite drop in, a Fortnite loots, a Fortnite fights and that's in the same order that the, uh, the bot does its magic and then at the end we have Fortnite outcome. We also have some action groups for the ticket payout. We have a little bit of action groups down here for the League of Legends game. We have the hero pick, we have stage two, uh, stage three, and then we have a LOL outcome. And this is kind of like the order of the bot, how, how it goes. Um, besides that, I think that's all I'm gonna cover on that. All right, so let's look at the first command in here called drop in. So on drop in, um, we have, basically I did like an alliteration type deal for the uh, for the zones in Fortnite. And I, I might not even be updated right now because like Fortnite's on season something and I don't even pay attention to the map anymore. I don't actually play Fortnite. I just set up this arcade game to, to troll people who really enjoy Fortnite. Um, anyway, so the first thing I have is uh, chat commands. So these are all just chat commands for the different zones in the game. Um, the important thing up here for this action group is that you click this button in the top right, this toggle, and that's run one randomly. So it's not going to go through all six of these instantly. If I turn this off and click play, it'll just show all six different landing spots and you'll be like, what, what's going on? How'd you land in six spots? So if you run one randomly, only one of these happens. Uh, random isn't isn't always entirely random. We found uh, some people they found that uh, that you uh, if you do the same thing over and over you'll see the same results. Uh, but I did see also that Mix It Up app did uh, do an update on their random. So maybe the random is going to be a little bit more random. I don't know uh, because there's no such thing as random, right? When it comes to computers. So uh, let's talk about the different drops. So we have dollar username plummets toward paradise palms, dollar username targets tilted towers for the landing spot, uh, username tumbles down to tomato town, username sails down to shifty shafts, right? So we run one of those and there's a couple more too, but we run one of those and then we wait three seconds and then we do loots, right? So let's open up the loots action group. So we have the, uh, the loots action group. There's several different chat commands that can happen here all of them are run one randomly okay we have dollar username finds a crate with an epic scar and some shields dollar username takes out a couple guys and gets some decent loot dollar username finds a chug jug chug it you know just says some random stuff and this shows up in chat when you uh when you click the uh the arcade machine okay um after this command runs we wait four seconds and then we open up the action group fights let's open up this one here all right, so we have uh, seven different options that happen here. We've got just an example. Uh, username runs furiously to the next zone. Username gets in a small firefight, but walks away unscathed and loaded with loot. Uh, username farms some more materials, something like that, right? So some of these games, it'll just be a guy farming materials. And then he'll farm more materials. And then he'll die. And it's just kind of entertaining like that. Um, but uh, but it's completely random the way that the, the fight unfolds, right? So you could have, you can get a bunch of loot, and a bunch of loot, and a bunch of loot, and then the outcome, you could still totally die. So uh, it's just like any other Fortnite game, right? Um, after that, we do, we wait five seconds, very, a very dramatic, long five seconds, and then we open up the action group for uh, outcome. And I want to, here we go. So finally, we have outcome. Um, I have several different outcomes that can happen. This is where it gets kind of tricky, right? So so an action group can have action groups inside it. Hmm. Yes. So that's how you kind of make a nested decision. So for the, for when the the winner gets in the top 10, they win one ticket. So the win one ticket action group actually looks like um, this. A chat message, wait four seconds, another chat message. So we have username runs out of ammo and materials as the top 10 standoff in a messy finale. First to die, nice try, better luck next time. One ticket. We wait four seconds and then we give them a ticket. Exclamation mark, ticket add, dollar username. And then they get a, a, a ticket added to their uh, to their currency on stream. 
pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, but if they don't win one ticket, there's other things that can happen, like um, username tries to sneak into an enemy's fort and is greeted by a shotgun to the face. Frowny face, zero tickets. Or username runs out of bandages in the middle of a firefight. Rip, zero tickets. Uh, username builds a rampway to heaven, throws down a jump pad, and the ramp is destroyed. Username plummets to their death. Zero tickets. Kind of grim, but uh, but necessary, you know, because it's Fortnite. Uh, and then finally, so I have three different action groups that have uh, tickets that you can win. So one ticket, three ticket, and ten tickets. One ticket if they're in the top ten. Three tickets if they're, if they're in the top three. And if they get a victory royale, they get ten tickets. Uh, I didn't add a command where you can add 10 tickets at once. Instead, I make a really dramatic one ticket at a time entry that looks like this. Uh, chat. Username builds an epic tower in the final zone, rockets everyone within range, a victory royale, 10 tickets coming your way. Wait four seconds, and then we do this massive ticket add, ticket add, ticket add, ticket add, ticket add, ticket add, ticket add thing. It just spams chat. Everyone sees someone just got an epic amount of tickets, wait what happened, they go back and read, like, hey, they just got a victory royale, awesome. Um, and then it says, cha-ching at the end or something like that, you know, just to cap it off. Um, and that's, that's the, uh, that's the deal, in a nutshell. I'm gonna play Fortnite one second so we can see it again. Alright, and then as we're, as we're seeing what happens here, it says, uh, fall slowly in the fatal fields. I find a bush and hide in it for a few minutes, and then I farm some more materials, and then I get outskilled and destroyed by a sniper in a bush. Sorry, frowny face, right? Um, but that's just the way it goes. That's that's Fortnite. Um, for tickets, uh, just to briefly explain that before I, I wrap this video, um, we have separate currencies on stream, and you can set these up and mix it up. App, I might make a video on this as well. Um, but you can set up, I want to say, currency and rank. There you go. So I added a separate currency called tickets. So coins is what people get for hanging out. But tickets is what people get for either dropping a follow or for playing the game. And I use the tickets specifically as a uh, as like an allegiance mechanism uh, to see who interacts the most and who hangs out the most on stream. And then they... Uh, they get to enter tickets for uh, for raffles, whether that be you know Steam gift cards or alpha codes or whatever it is that that we're able to give away. Um, usually, I cap the tickets for a raffle at a certain amount, but that's completely up to you and how you do your stream. Uh, Zero Infinity 07, one of our uh, regulars on stream, he uh, he had something like 500 and some tickets at one point. So. Uh, we ended up capping giveaways at like 100 tickets just to kind of give everyone a chance. But at the same time, like if someone aspires to have infinity tickets, they're going to be completely crushing your arcade repeatedly trying to get there. So um, I think that's it for this video. If you do end up using uh, the arcade, if you could just do like some sort of, you know, let me know in the comments and chat or maybe put it in the bottom of your stream under the credits or something like that. Um, something like interactive arcade game created by... Mixer.com, Pixels Get Me. Thank you, Pixels, for this great interactive experience. Or something like that. You know, like any credit is cool. Or if you end up using it or changing it, you know, let me know. We can uh, we can learn a lot from each other. Uh, we're all in it together. So uh, with that, thanks so much, guys, for hanging out. I'm going to get back to playing a game and uh, stop boring my chat with, uh, with bot commands. And then maybe next time we'll do another video a little bit more on the bot setup or... Uh, or other things like that. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Uh, stay tuned. There should be like a uh, wrap-up video at the end. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you want more of this or if you have a recommendation for a different type of video to make. Like, sub, click the bell, all that normal YouTube stuff. But more importantly, I stream over at Mixer.com slash PixelsGetMe five nights a week. We'll be playing uh, a lot of Breach, but I also enjoy Diablo and any other dungeon crawlers or grindy games. The Mixer schedule is in the video comments below, but the latest schedule is always on Twitter, at PixelsGetMe. If you like this content, please drop a follow over on Mixer as well, and hopefully you can catch some of my live streams. If I have a few videos that are related to this one, 
you should see them pop up over here. Feel free to watch some more stuff. You rock.